Good morning, children. Today in English class eleven, we'll take up the uh, the lesson, the chapter, the address, by by Marga Minko. Now this is a very touching account of a girl who goes in search of her mother's belongings after the Second World War came to an end in Holland. But even after finding what she so much wanted to touch, to feel, and to see. because they belong to her mother she leaves everything behind as she could not bring her dead mother back she felt that these are all material things and therefore she had lost value she had no sentimental value for them now she decides to move on and live with only the memories of former times the time that she has spent with her mother the address that had held so much importance till she visited the address that was given to her by her mother that was 46 marconi street was she had remembered it all along all these years she remembered it but now after she visited the place it lost its value and the girl realized that it could get her nothing but pain therefore she decided to move ahead in life so that is what the address is about this short story is a poignant account of a daughter who goes in search of her mother's belongings after the war in holland poignant means very touching one can say that some that arouses sadness and so so she went in search of her mother's belongings to this address of mrs dorling that was 46 marconi street when she finds them the objects ev- evoke memories of her earlier life evoke means bring out so she was reminded she felt nostalgic when she saw her, the possessions of her mother however she decides to leave them all behind and resolves to move on that is that she, when she saw these uh, possessions which were once her mother's now she did not have the same value for them because she had no sentiments for them and therefore she felt that she has to move on in life so this is also one can say that the situation that happens in a situation you can say or conditions and lives of people how they are affected due to war do you still know me i asked and that is uh, the narrator asked mrs dorling the woman looked at me searchingly she had opened the door a chink i came closer and stood on the step such uh, the woman looked at me searchingly that means she had not recognized her so she opened the door a chink chink means very narrowly she did not open the door wide enough for her to enter but just looked at her and tr- was trying to recognize her i came closer and stood on the step so she came a little closer so that the lady mrs dorling could recognize her no i don't know you she refused to acknowledge she refused to recognize her further on the narrator told her that she was mrs s's daughter she held her hand on the door as though she wanted to prevent it opening any further her face gave absolutely no sign of recognition she kept staring at me in silence so if you remember that when she opened the door she had opened it very narrowly very she had not opened the door wide enough why because she did not want her to enter the house she did not want her to enter the room and her face gave gave absolutely no sign of recognition that means there was no expression on her face which indicated that she had recognized her and she just simply uh, had uh, she gave a very cold response to the narrator she kept staring me uh, staring at me in silence so she just looked at her quietly did not utter a word gave no re- sign of recognition at all and just stood there but did not open the door also because she did not allow her to come in also perhaps i was mistaken i thought perhaps it isn't her what she meant was that i was mistaken the narrator felt that maybe she rang the wrong bell maybe she came to the wrong house and that is the reason why the lady is not able to recognize her i had seen her only once 
fleetingly, and that was years ago. It was the most probable that I had rung the wrong bell. The woman let go of the door and stepped to the side. She was wearing my mother's green knitted cardigan. The wooden buttons were rather pale from washing. She saw that I was looking at the cardigan and half hid herself again behind the door. But I knew now that I was right. Well, you know. So what she meant to say was, I was mistaken, the, what mistake she felt she had made, that she had r- come to the wrong house and this was the wrong bell that she had rung out here. That is why the lady had not recognized her. I had seen her only once. The narrator admits that she had seen Mrs. Dorling only once and that too for a very short while. Fleetingly means for a very short while. And that was years ago. So, she is explaining that maybe she has made a mistake that she came to the wrong house and this is, a, 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 this is not the person, this is not the lady that she was looking for. It was most probable that I had rung the wrong bell. That meant that she had made mistake in coming to the house. That is, this was not the house that she actually was looking out for. The woman let go of the door and stepped to the side. She still did not open the door. So please, uh, that she did not welcome her at all. She was wearing my mother's green knitted cardigan. So while the narrator was contemplating that uh, has she made a mistake in coming to this house and is this Mrs. Uh, Darling or not? But then the next moment when she saw, she was able to recognize immediately the green knitted cardigan. Cardigan is a sweater which has buttons in the front. So, she was wearing, so she uh, recognized the cardigan that that lady was wearing. That was a green knitted cardigan and that belonged to her mother. So, the narrator was able to understand now that this is the cardigan that uh, the lady was wearing belonged to her mother. The wooden buttons were rather pale from washing. Obviously, the, the sweater has been used, it has been washed over and over again. So, the, the shine of the buttons has vanished. So, uh, even then, she saw that I was looking at the cardigan and half hid herself again behind the door. So, now the lady had come to understand that the narrator has identified, she has recognized the cardigan of her mother and therefore, she is very sure that She is looking for Mrs. Dorling and that is her. But I knew now that I was right. Right in the sense, in what way was she right? That meant that she was right, that she had come to the right house. This was 46 Marconi Street, the address that had been given to her by her mother. She had made no mistake whatsoever and... This was Mrs. Darling, the lady she was looking for. And why she was looking for? Because all her her mother's uh, possessions had been kept at this this address, that is 46 Marconi Street. And this was the house of Mrs. Darling, who was an acquaintance of her mother. And this was a war time. So that is why now after years, the narrator has lost her mother. And it has been years now. The war came to an end, but now suddenly she had a desire to see, to feel and to to look at the possessions which used to belong to her mother once upon a time. Well, you know, knew my mother, I asked. So now that she, it was confirmed that she was Mrs. Dorling and she was the lady that the narrator was looking for, she asked her once again. Have you come back? said the woman. Have you come back? which meant that she had presumed that the war had come to an end and for years nobody had arrived. So she thought that everybody has perished, that all of them got killed in the war. I thought that no one had come back. That means that they had the entire family had not survived. So she had never expected anybody to come back now. Only me. So the narrator said that she survived And that is the reason why she had come here today. Thank you.